actors and parents. It is Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager in Los Angeles, California, with some inside information for you about how talent agencies really work. So I spent the weekend having lunch with several agents, very top agencies, and this I listen. I go to these lunches and I listen, and then I come tell you what they say. <laughs> so what I gleaned from this conversation is they all feel the same way. It's a numbers game. And they try to sign as many clients as they can because they know some of them will book. So most agencies have 300 to 1,500 clients. And the reason they have so many clients is they're hoping that somebody is always booking. And so if they have 300 clients and, and 50 of them book in that year, um, it's a business, you know, they're just trying to make money. They can only stay afloat when they have bookings that pay. They don't expect everyone to book and they're not attached to anyone unless they're booking. So what they always do, what they do is they look for people they think are going to book and they take them on and they fill up their rosters with as many people as they think will book as they can. And then they wait and see and see if it happens. They send out headshots, they pitch, they get people in auditions and they see who books. And the, the clients that book stay on that roster and every year agents sweep their roster off and they get rid of all the clients usually that didn't book. So uh, that's why it's so important that you take care of your own career, that you really are looking out for yourself because it's a cutthroat business and I'm not saying any of this to discourage you I just want you to get really really clear that this is a business and agents are not your friends and agents work very 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 hard for a percentage of your salary but since they take 10% you really are doing 90% of the work you're the one preparing for the auditions. You're going on the auditions. You're going on the callbacks. You're showing up at the job. You're doing 90% of the work. They are getting you the audition and negotiating the contract for 10%. And they only want to work with people that they can do that for. So just wanted to bring you that information that you really got to see this as a, as a business. Your job is to be, give the agent everything they need to be successful. Great headshots, a demo reel, crucial to have a great demo reel. If you are screwing around with your career with lousy headshots or headshots your friend made or a demo reel that's not so strong, you're just doing yourself a disservice because you're not really giving yourself a chance to succeed and you're not giving the agent the real tools they need to get you the auditions and they don't care. If you don't give it to them, they'll drop you and find someone who will. They're not in it for you. They are in it for themselves. They have bosses, they have jobs, that they have people to answer to if they want to keep their job. So don't be naive and think, oh my God, once I have an agent, I'm going to have a career. You know, it is your job to be super trained and super prepared and have great marketing tools and make relationships as often as you can. Stay in touch with everyone that you audition for. Get in those workshops and be of service to your agent because if you're not and you're not booking you're not gonna have much of a relationship with them anyway okay so that's just the real truth about how the business works and apply it okay go out there and take care of yourself and take care of your career see ya